Among the big fights with Democrats the governor expects during the upcoming legislative session is over a transportation bill he unsuccessfully vetoed last year. The governor dubbed it the roadkill bill. Last session, Democrats were able to reject his veto of a law that sets up a scoring system compiled by the executive branch of road project priorities. Hogan believes it forces him to cut funding next year to 66 major highway projects. Democrats say the scoring system is meant to add more transparency to transportation, but the scoring system is not enforceable. Supporters say that is spelled out in a section on the last page of the law. Nothing in this act may be construed to prohibit or prevent the funding of the capital transportation priorities in each yeah, jurisdiction. So everybody uh, keeps pointing to that one last sentence, which contradicts every other sing single thing in the bill that says you must, you shall, uh, this is required, this is the way you have to score, only projects that get reached these scoring levels can be funded. So. It's, it is a confusing bill. Another money issue, the budget. Projections have Maryland facing a $400 million hole next year. Hogan blames funding mandates passed down from Congress. Now because of the spending of the legislature and some shortfalls in revenues because of the national economy, uh, we're, we have a, a small deficit that we're going to be able to take care of, but it's tiny compared to the one we inherited. The debate over these issues and a lot more begins when the session does, January 11th, 2017. In Annapolis, George Lattice, WBAL, TV 11 News.